Rebounding teams tonight here, Chris. You averaged 13 rebounds a game one season. You had a lot of seasons like that, actually. What's the key to controlling the glass the right way? You, you know what? It's just two things. Desire and effort. Uh, you, you can go with the techniques of boxing out. You can go with the techniques of face guarding. You can communicate. You can do a lot of things. But when it comes down to it, a lot of times it's who just wants that ball. I love that. Desire and effort. That's a good answer. Let's take a look at our starters for Portland. Pairing up in the backcourt, Lillard and McCollum. Trevor Ariza out there with Anthony, and it's Whiteside in at the center. Anthony trying to get open. Whiteside, no good. Here's Toronto. It's a three-point game. Lowry passes to Siakam. Inside, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And the potential Ananobi has is exciting, has the athleticism, the shooting touch, and the drive to keep improving. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. Good on the second free throw. Lillard with it. He was coming off a 25-point game against Memphis. Yeah, but it wasn't all about himself. I mean, he kept everybody else in the loop. His passing was tremendous. And the basket by McCollum. Well, that's how to make things look easy for a teammate. I mean, you make passes like that one from Lillard, crazy. Lowry feeling it out a bit. And stolen by Ariza. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And during Ariza's career, he has established himself as an effective role player and fantastic outside shooter and a tenacious defender. And even though, Chris, he isn't the athletic dynamo he once was, the length of Ariza is always a factor. Yeah, I mean, for years now, Ariza has been a nuisance for opposing scorers uh, with his reach. And, Kevin, then you know he's great at contesting he's shots, and he's good for at least one or two takeaways a game. The first one falls. And it's easy to see why a team would want Ariza on their roster, makes the right decisions, mentors young players, and is well-respected throughout the league. He doesn't get the second one. And the Blazers, one of the best offenses in the league. I mean, their guards can make most any shot. And they've got some glass eaters to chase down any misses. Uh, one of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. Here's Anthony. The Raptors getting the bucket. That's a two from Willard. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. And the Blazers rely on their guards in McCollum and Lillard to generate, Chris, a lot of their offense. And you're sometimes right, Kevin, and, and it could even be to a fault at times. I mean, they need more offense from their front court. Guys who can pound the ball inside and generate some easy offense around the rim. Shot clock at six. Van Vliet passes to Ibaka on an OB. That one, no good. And the Trailblazers going the other way. Down low. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Uh, uh, yeah, Kevin, great court awareness from the crafty guard McCullum. I mean, a good teammate who likes hitting his open guys. Now, here's Siakam. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against the Utah Jazz. And it's Whiteside with the rebound. And it's Anthony with the ball for Portland. Last time they met was in Toronto, where they beat the Raptors. Yeah, and, and that one, they just locked it down defensively. Challenged shots and, and really protected the rim.
Well, they certainly made their presence felt on defense. They were active and rejected a number of shots. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lowry. It's getting late in the season. Let's now see the standings out east. You take a look at the Raptors. They're second in the conference and looking to finish strong heading into the playoffs. And when I look at Toronto, they had a few critics coming into the season, and now I don't think they have any. This is a club ready to not only make a deep run, but possibly win it all. Oh, come on, yeah, you know that's the mindset you have to have. They know if they can get to the playoffs, they have the talent to do some real damage. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. McCollum deciding where to go with it. Lillard outside. Three-pointer. The rebound by Ibaka. Ibaka's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Now Lowry. He picked up 21 points in their last win against the Utah Jazz. Not to mention his defense. I mean, he was a terror. He came away with three steals and caused a whole lot of headaches. Now here's Van Vliet. Ariza with the rebound. We've got 155 left in the first quarter of the game. They grabbed their own miss. Good on the shot. Yeah, and the presence of Whiteside in the paint really unreal he, he is a dominant figure down low great work to grab that second chance opportunity so timeout called here the first for toronto chris you have been passionate about honoring those who blazed the trail for today's nba like the globetrotters and the wrens in the days before integration yeah yeah i mean you, you think about what, what they've gone through off the court and on the court and, and anyone regardless of color nationality just paving the way for uh, for me as a basketball player i, I want to say thank you let's just think about what red arbeck did uh, drafting the first African-American player, making uh, the first African-American player coach and uh, in, in Bill Russell, who won the championship that year, and leaving him a, a good team. And if you look at organizations like the Black Fives and bringing awareness to the games, and, and you just want to understand your legacy uh, culturally. And that's why I have to, every time I see Mr. Bill Russell, Big O, or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, I give him a big hug and a, and, and a wet kiss on, on the cheek because uh, I just thank them for not only advancing uh, the movement in sports, but culturally, uh, uh, sports has always uh, sent a message uh, to the culture and society about how cool teammates work together and how you can overcome a problem uh, by working together. And so I really thank them for enduring uh, all of the hardships that they did so that we can uh, reap the benefits. So it, it's been awesome to be part of the league and be able to shake hands with those that have blazed trails for us. That is so admirable on your part. Oh, I like the bounce pass there. He's getting creative. Two for one chance here. Let's see if they use the clock to their advantage. Little passes to Trent. 34 seconds left in the first. Little dishes to Nurkic. Knocked away. And it's tonight. And it's the Trailblazers on the break. Lillard with the ball, and good that time. Lillard's got six. And here is Davis. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Snatched up. And the rejection by Collins. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. The Raptors out in front, leading by just one. We'll be back shortly, live from Toronto. The leadership mantle, something that Damian Lillard welcomes. He talked about what that means to him. A lot of responsibility. When things go bad, you know, people are going to look to you first. You know, they're going to point the finger at you first. Um, and when things go well, they're going to give you the credit so um i think it's just a balance of those two things you know being willing to be that guy um, and being excited about it i think you gotta um have fun right on the
the money as always, Lillard has excelled in that leadership role. Yeah, I mean, he plays with so much confidence and composure, but also it's the way he includes his teammates and gets to know them as individuals that makes him a franchise player. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And guys, what's your take on Toronto so far? Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. Oh, got the defense spinning in circles. Hard to cover all that ground. On the court for the Trailblazers, Collins plays the four with Nurkic at the five. Then it's Little. Then it's Rodney Hood. And it's Trent in at the one spot. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, one of the reasons Toronto was able to win the NBA championship was the astronomical improvement from Pascal Siakam, who was recognized as the league's most improved player. It was the dream of Pascal's late father that he'd reached this level, and his determination to make that reality has brought him a long way from home. Kevin? It has indeed, D.A. Great story, and thank you. Here's Trent. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Nurkic can't hit. Davis looking for an opening. Over Collins. Second chance shot. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Hollis Jefferson. They had a number of cracks at it, but came away empty-handed. It's time for him to start looking for other options. They can't let him keep shooting. His touch is gone. And Collins is right there. Love the heart that Collins is playing with. He makes use to give his all on the offensive glass. And the Raptors with the ball. The Blazers getting the bucket. Here's Powell. Nurkic with the block. Hood with it. Picked up by Davis. Trent gets the bucket. Uh, improving as a distributor, it, it helps when Hood tries to share it like this. And the Raptors call time here. Well, well the best season of his career, Kevin. It, but then uh, Yusuf Nurkic suffered that gruesome leg injury. It was a huge loss for the Blazers and a long road to recovery for Nurkic. And it's a completely new group for Toronto. And let's check out a breakdown. Looking at some stats for Lowry. Raptors trail by three. And the Blazers were looking for that third star. And Chris Nurkic was starting to look like he might fit the bill. Well, Kevin, let's think about it. You could argue that he was one of the top five centers in the league last season. He just turned 25, so hopefully uh, he's still on the upslope of his career. Siakam kicks to Van Vliet. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Five on the clock. Siakam passes to Ibaka. Lowry from outside. And again, Toronto, no luck. Portland leading by three. McCollum right side. Pass to Hood. And Fred Van Vliet is going to pick up a foul. That is his first foul of the game. Whiteside's checked in for Nurkic. Hassan Whiteside. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Whiteside kicks to a reason. Six on the shot clock. And the rejection by Ibaka. The size, the timing of Ibaka, tailor-made for protecting the rim. And Whiteside sends it back. Now here is Lowry. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Van Vliet. No good with the triple. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that position. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And there's the foul. It's called on Toronto. For Portland, they have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. At the line for two. First one falls for him. 
Chris, this is a specialty of yours. Which, which current bigs are, are best at finishing contested shots right at the rim? Oh, well, I'll tell you this. The best big in the league last year, averaging 17 points, scoring in the paint, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yes. I mean, he'll dunk on anybody. Move out the way. He finishes. What about Embiid inside? What about Gobert? What about Boogie Cousins? Should I continue? I can keep going because the big man is back, baby. Three-pointer, Lowry, and it's Portland with the rebound. Whiteside's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Now here's Anthony. Five-point lead, the biggest of the game. Another shot. Whiteside, good. Whiteside's got his second bucket of the night. Uh, no basket feels better than a putback. Love getting rewarded for grinding it out on the glass. Here's Lowry. Siakam trying to free himself up. Lowry's shot is good. A, a veteran guard with a knack for penetrating defenses. Lowry can pretty much get any shot he wants. Now, here's Whiteside. He's coming off a 16-point game against Memphis. He dishes it to Lillard. Takes a three. It's hauled in by the Raptors. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. In that one, they owned the backboards. Most of the second chance opportunities went to them. Yeah, if, if you can be that much better on the glass, you're going to win the game. Anthony's shot is off. Oh, he found open space for mid-range. Just maybe rush his release a little bit. On an OB, no good. They have a chance to go two for one here. Let's see how they play the clock. It's good. Lillard's got the lead up to seven now for the Trailblazers. The consistency of Lillard with his consistent probing on the defense, he's become Mr. Reliable at a very young age. Now here is Lowry. And hey, you know the points will always be there for him. He's averaging just a shade under 20 points a game right now. Well, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots out there. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. to the wing. Here's Van Vliet. And again, no good by Toronto. And so it's the Portland Trail Blazers in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They've set the tone. They love their tempo. They're going to be very tough to stop. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Here with head coach Terry Stotts. Coach, what has gone right for your team so far? Well, we've got a lot of energy. Uh, you know, getting stops and getting runouts is the biggest difference. And that gets your guards involved early in the offense. Thanks, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey everybody, welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. The first quarter for the Trailblazers was fairly even. Their field goal percentage was a robust 50% in the period. That's something they can hang their hat on. In the second quarter, they made it look easy. They played well at both ends of the court and suddenly they're sitting on a nine point lead here at halftime. Shaq, how do you think the Trailblazers were playing? And that should do it with... And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. One guy who's getting it done is Lillard. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. Yeah, Greg, this game has his fingerprints all over it. Now looking to replicate what he did in the first half. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade all fueled up for the second half. So for Toronto right now, Siakam and Ibaka, the duo down low. That Van Vliet out there with Lowry, and it's Ananobi in at the small forward position. 
There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And, G.A., it is definitely making a difference so far today. And, Kevin, this is why his teammates respect him. The hustle, the energy. You gotta love it. And six straight playoff appearances for the Blazers under Terry Stotts. Last season making the Western Conference Finals. Yeah, G.A., and he was rewarded with the multi-year contract extension. He's done a great job developing their young players while also having them compete at a high level. It's still early, but a one for four start to the half, that's a bad sign if you ask me. If they've got a can't miss play, now's the time to break the glass and pull it out. Anthony against Ibaka. And it's blocked by Ibaka. Oh, and this is turning into a slow start here in the second half. Seems like they left that offense in the locker room. That's his first and only six feet tall in shoes, Fred Van Vliet's not the biggest, but his toughness, his toughness, mentally and physically, is unquestioned. And Kevin, growing up in Rockford, Illinois, gave him that perspective. Friends and family, gone too soon. Basketball was the path to something better. Norkic checked in for Whiteside. Lowry can't get it to go. Knowing the kind of competitor he is, I know he's upset with his performance and with the score. And so Siakam will bring it up for Toronto. Trailing here by eight. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. And that will be the middle game of this three-game homestand. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Alert against Lowry. Lillard, wow, hammering it in! Oh. <laughs> Gotta appreciate the brilliance of Lillard. Excels at ripping through the defense. Toronto calls timeout. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. For Toronto, they have split their free throws right down the middle so far. They're two for two. And we've seen Stars Chris get suspended in the playoffs for having seven technical fouls. Did we modify that rule at all, do you think? You know, I, I, I think it can be tweaked uh, if everyone agrees on it. But, but for me personally, I, I don't think that we've had enough uh, superstar players get suspended with that rule to say let's change the number. We definitely want superstar players to play in the playoffs, to play for their fans. But, but we also want to keep the integrity of the game. And, and if technicals means uh, I get to yell at the referee more, well, well, then maybe I just have to have more uh, discipline on my end and say, wait a minute, I can't do this because it's going to hurt the team. So uh, I'm, I'm not sure about that yet. Just rubbing it in their faces with that dunk. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off a of pedal. What a performer this guy is. He relishes the chance to hammer it down. Here's Trent. Boucher with the rebound. Raptors trail by five. Outside, Davis. Outside, Lowry. Over, Collins. And the rejection by Collins. Hey, yo, look at the clock. Powell down low. Lowry for three. They get the rebound. Here's Alice Jefferson. Oh, this is the impact Nurkic makes on the defensive end, effective at reaching out and stifling shooters. And there's the pass to Trent. Feeds it to Nurkic. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Davis has got four rebounds in this game. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. Oh! Oh, I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Yo, it, it would be a shame to make all this progress and let them off the hook. Got to keep the pressure on. Passes it to Little. Three-pointer Lillard. 
the Trailblazers keep it alive. The second chance effort. Can't get the layup. And he'll be happy that they're in front, but he knows better than anyone else that he's still without a bucket, and he won't be happy with it. Watch him. Hillard against Lowry. Pass to Boucher. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got four assists in the game. The pass to Lillard. Pass to Trent. There's the three. No good. And Toronto will come the other way. Davis, the pass to Pop. 30 seconds left to play here in the third. And the Raptors hit again from deep. They're not playing defense with anywhere near the passion they showed in the first half. There, there's been a big time drop off. Passes it to Lillard. They need this. And he sinks the layup. Lillard's got six in the quarter. All right, I'm telling you, don't let Lillard get in rhythm. Once he's feeling it, he's going to burn you on every possession. Hey, yo, yo, right here, right here. Here's Lowry. Good shot. From deep. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. Well, it's great to see Lillard working on his defense. A part of his game that he's going to tighten up on. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Raptors lead by one. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist of the Game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Makes it a tough play to defend because you also have to guard against him taking it himself. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. And on the floor for Portland here in the fourth, we've got Rodney Hood, Anthony out there with Whiteside, then there's McCollum, and it's Ariza in at the three. McCollum finds Whiteside. Outside Hood, fires the three. Offensive rebound, Whiteside, good. Neither team here in the fourth generating a lot of separation. Yeah, it's been a close one. Five times the lead has switched hands thus far. And the foul called on Hassan Whiteside. Hassan. That is his first foul of the game. Portland on defense. They've led by as many as 11 points. Siakam against Ariza. Oh, that's just a sensational effort on D from Ariza, using his long arms exceptionally to guard the shot. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And he knocks down the first one. OG and Anobi's checked in for the Raptors. So Anthony nails both of them. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Now here's Van Vliet. He is guarded by McCollum. Here's Gasol. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Trailblazers leading by three. Reza passes to Anthony. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Now here's Van Vliet. He's guarded closely. Good work defensively by Whiteside. Ariza outside. The dish to McCollum. Ariza with it. 
Kicks to Hood, clock at four. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Now Powell, pass to Siakam. There's the pass to Gasol. Jacks up a three. Rebounded by Anthony. And it's Anthony with the ball for Portland. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Good. And that's 10 points for House on Whiteside. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. And the Raptors call time here. Definitely not pleased with their rebounding at the defensive end. The, the number of putbacks they've allowed has been terrible. I'm sure that's what he's going to address during this timeout. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for Powell. Lillard's checked in for Portland. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's recording from the sideline. Hey, guys. During the last timeout, I listened to Nick Nurse talk to his team. He got on his guys about allowing too many paint points. He said, hey, we've got to be scrappier. We've got to be quicker to help, quicker to collapse the lane. You guys know what to do. Now you got to give me the effort. I want to see some nasty. Kevin? Okay, David, thanks. Lowry dishes to Gasol. Good work defensively by Whiteside. I love to see the defense exhibit some passion in, in protecting the rim right there. Here's McCollum. Siakam pulls it in. Siakam's got his fourth rebound in this one. Lowry, and he banks in the layup. Wow, has he flipped the switch at halftime. Much more effective here in the second half. Now here's Lillard, covered by Van Vliet. Uh, you gotta love how clever Lillard is. I mean, he's exceptional at gutting the D apart with his dribbling moves. A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And here is Siakam. And Siakam throws it down. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, Coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. Shot from the wing. They get it back. Whiteside goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Whiteside's got six here in this quarter. Yeah, Coach's pet peeve there, no box out. Oh, it's simple. When you fail to put a body on someone, you're inviting a breakdown on the defensive glass. Toronto calls timeout. They're behind by seven. 158 left to play here in the fourth. chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Damian Lillard. And he's had the hot hand tonight, Kevin, no doubt about it. Uh, he's gotten his field goal percentage up over 60, and you're only going to get it that high when you're taking good, smart shots. He's really seemed to feed off the hostile environment he's been faced with tonight. Now, here's Siakam. Trying to get open is Ibaka, and it's blocked by Whiteside. And so it looks like the Raptors will retain possession here. Ibaka, the pass to Van Vliet. Six to shoot. Here's Siakam from deep three-point range. Another miss by Siakam. McCollum finds Lillard. You got it. We've got 123 left in the game. Fires from deep. He can't hit that time. And it's the Raptors taking it the other way. 
and it'll go. And the Blazer lead is cut down now to just five on the bucket from Kyle Lowry. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Coach trusts him to make when he plays down the stretch. I mean, because he's shown that ability time and time and time again. And he should thank the team for those two points. Nobody paid much attention to him on that play. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Launches it. It's good! And now they trail by just four. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, and they aren't just chucking up anything. I mean, they're doing a great job of creating quality looks. Forty-three seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And Lillard gets double teamed. McCollum passes to Whiteside. And here's McCollum. Here's Anthony. Comes up empty from 19 feet out. The game has come down to this. Huge possession. Count it! And he has brought them to within two points. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Yeah, he approached that one with total confidence. He has what it takes to come through in the clutch. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. Uh, you know, if you got game, you got game. And we're starting to see more players come from small schools and, and go on to become special talents like McCollum. You don't see it too often, but it's definitely start to happen. It shows you what happens when you put in the work. And the Raptors call time here. They're trailing by three. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Yeah, they have a little time to work with. The most important thing is to make whatever you take. Nineteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. Siakam with it. It drops. And that shot brings them to within just one. I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easily it makes it for him to get to the cup. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. First free throw is good, and that will put them up by two. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's a three-point game. And it's going to come down to a three-point attempt. I mean, what a huge moment to come through at the line. Here's Van Vliet. Misses the train. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. That's his first personal foul. Shooting for four. Hassan Whiteside at the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four point cushion. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. Oh, you got to just have a sense of calm at the line. He has it here. And he just put the game to bed. And so it's Portland winning this one. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother him. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Damian, it looks like this team's progress can be measured by your improvement at the defensive end. Do we see that tonight? Um, we, we made some mistakes, like every other basketball team does, but I think we did a great job of making adjustments. You know, we got a little more physical. Um, you know, we did a great job of that. And that led to a big win, Damian. Thanks for your time, man. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.